Tommy, I got the screw you asked for, and the nail, and the nut, and the bolt, and everything else. Yeah, you, you laugh. These little jars with assortment of screws, nuts, and washes are handy to have. You never know if you're missing just that one screw. In a pinch, maybe. But I think people could probably do better if they knew what they were looking for when they went looking for screws and it's, bolts and nails. That's true. And there's a lot of different sizes and different things. All right, first of all, this is a lag screw, even though it has a hex head. Mm -hmm. All right, this is meant for wood. If you look at the thread, it's a coarse thread. That means wood. If you look at this, this is a carriage bolt. It has a machine thread. It's fine thread, and there's no way to screw that into material. So you have to drill a hole, and you want to use a mechanical faster. So you're going to use a washer, and then you put the nut on that. And yeah. now that's great for screwing things like a post to a deck or two pieces of framing material together or just a lot of different yeah. things. And that cinch that down tight, and that's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Let's set the, the bolts aside for a second and talk about screws because there's more application in our world for those. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of different kinds for a whole bunch of different purposes. Right. And I guess the most common people say they go to the store and they say, well, I want a screw, so let's grab some drywall screws. And why not? Use them for everything. <laughs> well, and they're relatively inexpensive, but they shouldn't be used for everything. So why is that? It's not a structural screw. So what does that mean, they're not a structural screw? Well, it means that it doesn't have a lot of tinsel straight. It, it's brittle. Yep. So if you if you Many people have done it. You try to screw a piece of wood to something, and it gets in there, and all of a sudden the screw snaps off. Snaps right off. Right. So you wouldn't want to use it for hanging something heavy. Not cabinetry and stuff like that. Perfectly yeah, fine, though, for drywall. Right. Now, if you look at the thread of the drywall screw, it goes all the way up, because this is meant to go through a soft material and goes right through, and it's not going to pull back, mm -hmm. and it grabs well. If you're, if you're screwing something into hardwood, you want a finer thread, and drywall screw actually comes with a real fine thread for screwing into steel studs. Mm, interesting. I think people are familiar, for sure, with the, uh, the slotted head right there, the flat head, right. and the Phillips, for sure. Yeah, and there's Torx. Yeah, which is a sort of a star shape, different sizes. Right, and I prefer the Torx head head today because they grab well and they don't strip out. All right, so different types of heads. Yep. Now, if you are looking for screws, they've got a coating system. Yep. Um, they've got a length, a number. Explain that to us. Yeah, so you'd go to the home center and all these screws have a label on it. Like this is a 10 by 2, mm. all right? Okay. All right, the 10 is the diameter and the 2 is the length overall. So the 10 is like a gauge number? Right. And as you go up in gauge, 10, 12, 14, those become bigger yeah, screws. Yeah, so here's a 14 by 3 and a half. Gotcha. All right, so heavier, the heavier, bigger the number, the higher. So if you're buying them, it's right on the package. That makes a lot of sense. But if you're taking that one screw out from, say, the hinge where you've got the stripped head and you've got to match it, mm. you're not sure what you're looking for. Right. Well, you can buy one of these gauges like this and keep it in your home shop. Or... The home centers and the hardware stores have them mounted right below the screws and you can take the screw that you want to match and you try to put it into the hole that it fits and that's a 10, number 10 screw. And now if you want to know the length, you take the screw and you hold it into the gauge tight at the top and it tells you that's two inches long. Oh, interesting. It's even got a little triangle cut out there to help you. Right, seats right on there. In terms of length, what's the rule of thumb for how long of a screw you should use depending on what you're putting together? Well, that's very important, I think. The rule of thumb for, for finding the screw length is take the material thickness and multiply it times two and a half. The material thickness of what you're trying to attach, so right. like a half-inch drywall, you take the half-inch versus the right. inch and a half stuff. Okay, so let's say half-inch drywall, two and a half would be inch and a quarter screw. Right. Five-eighths drywall would be an inch and nine-sixteenths, so inch and five-eighths screw. Yeah, oh, interesting. All right, so that's very important. It's important that you use the screw that's going to grab yeah. what it needs to grab and hold what you want it to hold. Okay, so last question for you. Drywall screw inside, obviously. Exactly. I mean, that drywall screw that's black, that's for interior. These zinc screws are interior. You don't want to be using these screws outside because they can rust. You want to use a screw that could be stainless, it could be galvanized, it could be ceramic coated, mm -hmm. but you want to make sure that it's rated for exterior use and also rated for pressure treated use Boy. because it could rot if it's the wrong material. All right, Tommy, good information. Thank you. My pleasure. Have one. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.